this film is a little bit like a snake eating its own tail in that it's going to go round in a circle. Last week's film that I made was about the back end of YouTube, how we get paid for making content on YouTube. I had an email saying, congratulations, you've had a million views in 2023. And I thought it'd be interesting to, for you to see how a million views translated into money. So if you haven't seen that film, please do watch it. Conclusion was, I got paid 5,800 during 2023 for making films. Now that film has had such a reaction, it's had 25,000 views in a week. My channel, I would usually expect about 2,000 views in a week. So thanks for that. <laughs> but I thought while it was still topical, I would quickly jump on and answer some of the questions that people, people asked. Answer the, the questions, let's have a quick look at this film. So far it's had 30,000 views for a watch time of 2,700 hours and it's brought in nearly 700 new subscribers and um, made £67. If we look at views in more detail you can see loads of them have come from YouTube recommendations which is fabulous because that's a new audience to, to look at my channel and this shows you the good bits and the bad bits. If we look at impressions, it's interesting. So over 300,000 people have been shown the thumbnail, but of that only 5% clicked on the thumbnail. So my ugly mug wasn't that attractive. And that brought in 16,000 views and resulted in a watch time of 1,800 hours. So not everyone who sees it views it, of course not. This graph just shows that most people liked what they saw. There is a 99.6% like, so some people didn't like it, and it shows how much of the film people actually watched and which bits were the most engaging. What I found interesting was where people came from, and this graph shows New, new viewers versus old viewers. So it seems to have been shown to a lot of new people. I think I commented before that most of the viewers on this channel are female and older, kind of like me. Didn't have one person under the age of 24 watching this film, which I think is hilarious. Then this graph just shows earnings. So how much I've earned so far and where it comes from. And it's interesting to see that advertisers are paying £11.81 to reach a thousand in my audience. And of that, I am getting £5.04 for every thousand person. And most of that comes from skippable ads rather than in film ads and so forth. So some people said, oh, that's not a bad little income. I was thinking of doing YouTube, maybe I will. Some people said, you're underpaid, you're worth way more than that. And a couple of people said, I wouldn't get out of bed for less than 5,000 a week. So the first thing is, if I don't do this for that income because it wouldn't make financial sense. I do this because I enjoy it. I reckon the world would be a lot nicer place if we all painted more and fought less. So if I can turn a few people on to the joys of watercolour, if I can infuse people to be more creative, then that's my contribution to the world. I do this because I like teaching and I like sharing what I know. And also by making films, it forces me to think of new ideas. And it also helps me realise what I know because you can quite often feel a bit imposter syndrome-ish and then suddenly actually you realise you do know something. This is also not my only income. I am a painter. I am an artist. I sell paintings. Look over my shoulder. These are for sale. I sell them through galleries and directly. So if you're in the market for a painting, I do ship overseas as well as to the UK. Have a look at my website. I also write books. I have written five books. I am working on my sixth. So by getting to know people on YouTube, 
hopefully they will buy my books. I run in-person workshops. If you're anywhere in the vicinity of Berkshire, then come on down and we can meet face to face and I run workshops. I hope that having seen me on YouTube, you, you know what I'm like, you know the sort of art I do, and you might want to come and learn from me in person. And I have an online art school. So all those things together you know, work and actually my YouTube videos help me with my online art school because I learn to edit better, I hope. I learn to uh, put my point of view across succinctly and all those things. Now in that film, I talked about mostly about advertising income. So AdSense, you get monetized and YouTube keeps 45% of all the advertising money your channel earns, you get 55%. But there are other ways of earning income. You can earn income via shorts, very, very little. So don't get excited by that. And you can earn income from YouTube Premium. And I'll just come on to that in a moment. You can do sponsored videos. I have only ever done one because actually I only want to take sponsorship from people that I really feel aligned to. So I've, I've done one with Podia, which is the company that hosts my online art school. Really like them, really rate them as a company. I have turned down sponsorship from, oh, an online therapist because I've not had therapy and I don't know whether they're any good or not, so I wouldn't want to promote them. A source of income you can get is something called Super Thanks. So you as the viewer can click on Super Thanks and give me a tip if you want. And I've had a few of those, tiny, tiny amount um, during the past year. But in fact, I got one this morning, which was really nice. Oh, it was lovely that someone was actually willing to say thank you to me. So if you think I'm underpaid, hit the button. The other thing is that I do get sent free art materials, which is just lovely. I am a sucker for a freebie and I do get sent watercolours to try and then to, to make films about. And I love that. Let's come back to Prime. Prime is you pay a monthly fee so that you don't have to watch those adverts that you don't like. And the question was, do creators still get paid? Yes. So all the, that Prime money goes into a pot, YouTube keeps 45% of it. And that 55% is divvied up amongst all the creators who Prime members have watched their films. There's some clever bit of software and it will allocate, you know, pennies here and pennies there if you've um, watched people's films. A Prime member, don't worry that you have cheated creators in some way. They are still getting paid for their work. Asked about rewatching films and whether that contributed anything. And yes, it does. So if you watch a film, like it, watch it again, come back to it tomorrow because you're going to have a go. That all counts towards watch hours. And in fact, YouTube likes it because it shows you're engaged with that film, that it's a good film. So they will show it to more people. The only time it would work against you is if you watch the film and the film and the film and the film, you know, three million times in one day. YouTube would think something suspicious is happening here. You're probably a bot and they wipe that out. Someone else commented about why on earth don't people like films? Clicking that little like icon actually has a big impact on a film because YouTube goes, oh, people like this. Perhaps I will show it to more people. Likes are often very, very small. You know, a thousand people watch a film but only 50 people like it. And it's probably not because the other lot didn't like the film. They just didn't think to hit the like button. And that is the simplest thing that you as a viewer can do to support creators is hit like or even better, make a comment. Because again, YouTube loves that interaction. Ooh, they liked it. 
Oh, they took time to make a comment. Mm, this is a film worth showing other people. You people asked about whether the number of subscribers you have makes any difference. And it does to whether you can be monetized because you need to have a thousand subscribers. But after that, there isn't a direct correlation. If you've got lots of subscribers and they've hit the notification bell, then maybe your film will be seen by more people because it'll come up on their feed and you'll get more views. Hopefully they'll like your stuff, they'll hit like, they'll make a comment. YouTube will then show it to more people, but it's not direct. So I've currently got 35,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And I am grateful to everyone, but not 35,000 people watch a film each week, which is a shame. Um, say usually it's about 2,000 and the film all about the money side of things has been watched by 25,000 so not every subscriber has watched it but the lovely thing is from that film I've had 600 new subscribers which is amazing and welcome if you're new to this channel that's lovely and I'm grateful we'll go back to the usual sketching watercolour art materials <laughs> information so if that's why you're here you're in the right place if you're looking for films about how to get rich on youtube you're in the wrong place People commented about how much you get paid by different countries they were quite surprised that advertisers pay different amounts depending where your audience is but if you take a, a moment and just think about it advertisers want to advertise to people who've got some disposable income who are likely to buy their products and therefore affluent adults are probably the audience that a lot of people are after and say you're an affluent adult looking to invest well they'll love you because they want to get your money you'll find that financial films get paid better and you'll find that films that are seen by audiences in developed countries pay, are paid better than those that are seen by audiences in less affluent countries. So if you were being really mercenary about this, you would be sitting, say, in the UK, and I would be doing my damnedest to, to get a North American audience because you get paid more for a North American audience than you do from a UK audience, than you do for, I don't know, a South American audience. It's about the disposable income of different countries. I have seen UK artists who price everything in dollars and really do aim at that American market. I don't. I do try and put dollars and pounds if I can. I also put Aussie dollars or euros where I've got that information I try and put my information in centimeters and inches so that it's accessible to people but I am not going to go out of my way to be viewed by an affluent audience in the hope that I get paid more I'm here to enjoy watercolor whatever country you're in and I am delighted when I look through the list of countries and I see that people are watching from india from chile from central america from iceland from israel from wherever you know everyone is welcome here so i hope that answered the extra questions that you had i hope you found that interesting seeing how a, a film can just have a life of its own and take off and next time you're on youtube you will maybe just know a little bit more of what's going on behind the scenes and why certain things suddenly seem to go viral never had it happen i think it might be a bit freaky but hey quite nice um and why things some really good content just never seems to bubble to the surface well the main thing that you can do as a viewer to support your favorite creator is like subscribe and comment and that's why they say or every creator says it you know it's now a cliche on youtube but like subscribe comment and you will help support those creators be shown to more people and therefore earn 
a little bit more for the work they're doing. Happy New Year to you and I hope that 2024 is colourful and creative and peaceful.